sometimes people will do the wrong thing for the right reason. Because when we push people to a level and they reach their zero tolerance level, they definitely will react. Mr. Speaker, let's not be deceived. Everybody wants peace. Everybody will want to go by the right procedure to address issues. But when people have a feeling and a sense of judgment that they are not being given a fair and level playing field, they will definitely will react. It's a human reaction and there's nothing you can do about it. Mr. Speaker, we were in Kenya. Two weeks prior to 25th of June, the youth and the Gen Z's have demonstrated, demonstrated, and demonstrated. Mr. Speaker, what broke their hearts was the fact that that Tuesday, in spite of all their protestations, the National Chamber and the Senate sat and passed the finance bill. That is what we call impunity. That is when we, the political class, decide not to listen to the feelings and the cries of the people. And they never thought they would endanger the lives of their people. But do you know what they said? They said they don't care about the executive. They care about us, their representatives, who have disappointed them. Because they voted for us to hold the executive in check. So if the executive has brought to us a finance bill that is going to scorch them further, that is going to strangulate them further, and we then represent their representatives, we fail to defend them, then they are turning their anger from the executive to us. That is why it is important that we value our position in this house. Mr. Speaker, this statement is timely. If first we members of this house will take a cue from what has happened in Kenya and understand that the people who vote for us are more important than sometimes the political decisions we take. That we have a bill before us that the people outside who voted for us are not happy with. But because of political convenience, we are ready to even break heads to let it go through against the will of the people. They will react because they will soon lose confidence in our ability to defend their interests. Mr. Speaker, recently I heard Reverend Archbishop Duncan Williams say that we are moving to the, to the level where the danger before us as a nation is that big majority of the youth who feel hopeless and don't see any hope in the democracy we have it.